Happy New Year from the Convocation Center in Ohio on New Year's Eve Eve. One at 77 to 50 over Urbana. I'm Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. Together, we're the Fun Bunch. And we brought you Ohio's eighth victory of the year in 11 tries. It was good, 8-3, and three, uh, but it started in a way that Ohio fans didn't like. Mm. Saul Phillips didn't like. No, no one liked. No. Ohio went to the halftime uh, barn down a couple points, down three. To a Division II team, 34-31. Which isn't the best. No, no, no. But to spin it positively, oh, good things the second happen. half, yeah. 19-0 run out of the gate, forced these guys into 24 turnovers, played maybe the best six or seven minutes of the season coming out of the halftime locker room there in the second half. At one point, you thought... And you issued a rather bold prediction. They will not score again. But I was the, right for, the about, entire second half. for about six and a half minutes. Yes. They were stuck on 34 for a while, which okay. was their prior season low. Ohio didn't hold them there, holds them to 50. But second half, you win it 36 to 16, plus 20, and just looked golden in almost every facet of the game. Carter's to the right. Simmons drives, beat two, baseline left. Shovel pass to Carter, who dunks it right in front of the rim with two hands. And to their credit, I hope somebody from Urbana took a picture of the scoreboard to have forevermore. Having a lead over a Division I team on the road, obviously, that's that's pretty cool. So anyway, Ohio was able to take care of business and they win the ball game. Eight wins going into Mid-American Conference play with Western Michigan coming to town on Tuesday night. Yep, starting conference play Western this week on Tuesday. Kent on Friday night, a little later than usual. Yeah. But you're right, you dive right in the middle. The good news is you dive in with home games. And also, Rob, we, we lost someone very special to the Bobcat family. Former voice of the Bobcats, Dick Shore, passed away. Um at 80 years old, and he held this uh, position for longer than anybody has in the past and potentially in the future. A big loss, a very, very, very important uh, figure in this position and uh, someone that certainly will be missed. Yeah, proud to have obviously worked with him at the very, very end of his career as, as voice of the Bobcats and Derek Scott and all those guys who in the 90s made this thing happen and made this product better. And uh, Dick Shore was a broadcaster, was a broadcaster. He was smooth. He was a pro. And he was local. He was our guy. He was from Southeast Ohio. And he, he did all those good things. And he loved this program and its teams and its players as much as anyone over the years. And, and we'll miss him. Funeral obviously set up for, for yeah. Tuesday in Lancaster. But uh, good good man and will be missed here. Real cool thing about that was got a chance to visit with him and, and he liked our broadcasts and, and um, I don't mention that to be uh, selfish or boastful. I, I just mean that it was important to us that he liked what we did and uh, that's a really cool thing. Now on to football. Ohio lost 28-23 to Troy in the Dollar General Bowl last Friday night in Mobile and Ohio had five turnovers but lost by five had a shot at the end of the game, and, and they played very hard. Yeah, and what have we said all year? This defense has kept this team in position, regardless of something bad happened or not. This defense is maybe the best one we've seen in the modern era, period. Yeah, Ohio hung with it, and, and there was a time there where you thought, man, this really could be possible after going down very quickly, 14 uh, to nothing, but played very hard. The defense, again, was the straw that stirred the drink, and you thought, well, maybe the offense can really piece it together. They did to be right there at the end. Unfortunately, came up short. Yeah, and you look at it, it's, it's been a great, another another great season, another winning season, another bowl eligible season, eight and six, and Frank Solich who's piling up these wins. Uh, do you have any New Year's resolutions? I have several. Most of them probably aren't printable or shareable here, but just just trust, I'm going to do better. Really? Just like you. Really? I, you cannot print or share those well, they're, I mean, I, I, they're self-improvement things, oh, okay. they're, they're, there's career things. There's a lot of things we have to do this year. A lot of important work. There's a lot of things that I need to do. I need to, um, I need to uh, get a girlfriend. I need to uh, make a million dollars. I need to broadcast better. I need to be a just overall better person. Nicer. But, but I would imagine the million dollars and the girlfriend would help. I don't know. Might help your mood. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, Ohio wins at 77 to 50 over Urbana. Happy New Year, Rob. Yep. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, y'all. And uh, we'll see you next year. May blessings rain down on all of us in 2017. Our postgame recap supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. So for Jason and Derek and Tanner Smith and Nevin Shaw and Joe Brackman and all those guys with Bobcat TV. Sure, Paul Ladwig, throw him in there. Fine. And for you, Rob Cornelius, I am Russ Eisenstein. Happy New Year, everybody. This is Bobcat TV.